Rochelle Hiltz and I work for Alberta Innovates Technology Futures. Um, currently I'm the Acting Portfolio Manager for Ecosystem Management, but I've been involved with TRAP Research with the Fur Institute of Canada for um, about 20 years now. The TRAP Research Program started back in 1983 um, and we have a facility based in Alberta where we, we do most of the TRAP Research. And um, the idea of the TRAP research program was really to understand, you know, what the traps are, uh, what their mechanical properties are, uh, what the animal welfare properties are of these traps, and try and improve the industry based on the research we do. So provide traps that are the most humane um, possible and um, evaluate them for different species and ensure that the traps that trappers are using are the best ones available. So the process we usually take is that uh, a manufacturer will develop a new trap and they want to determine um, does it meet some sort of international standard. Most of our work is currently based on the agreement on international humane trapping standards so we would evaluate that trap to see if it meets those standards. So uh, we go through a process where we would first mechanically evaluate that trap to see what its mechanical properties are. Um, and then following that mechanical evaluation, we have different approaches we can take. The most common approach we use now um, is we net that would then run the trap through what we call a computer simulation model. And in doing that, we would determine whether that trap in fact meets or does not meet the requirements of the International Humane Trapping Standard. When I first got into the trap industry and the fur industry and, and this whole idea of animal welfare and how trapping and fur relate, um, you know, it took me a while to get my, my head wrapped around it, right? But now, um, you know, I realize that I'm making a difference. You know what? Because I, like I said, traps, trapping is going to continue for the foreseeable future and I'm doing what I can to ensure that the traps that are used are the most humane traps available and um, I feel good about that.